Hello guys, so today we're gonna take on the Lamia Queen and uh, let's see how far we go. Now I do have a strategy for the Lamia Queen but uh, she might turn out to be pretty good so it's a really difficult boss fight for this stage of the game. Especially when you don't even have evasion. Now Layla is going to be with us for the fight, but she's going to leave afterwards, so I don't have anything yet. I don't have anything on Layla or Gordon who's uh, going to join us afterwards. Oh man, I'm not looking forward to the Coliseum, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we actually come there. Let's see how difficult the Lamia Queen is going to turn out to be. Uh, I've healed up. I think I should put down a safety save just in case. Okay, let, let's take on the Lamia Queen. Now this fight... She's really nasty. Uh, she's got an 8 hit attack which is... Uh, which, which has sleep touch. And uh, with 8 hits, she's pretty much guaranteed to put uh, Renoa to sleep. <coughs> so I'm not even gonna bother. If uh, Renoa gets a chance, I will use safe with her. And Squall, I think, is going to be constantly trying to revive Renoa. Now, this this fight is uh, one of the main reasons I wanted Barry up to at least level 3 because uh, I think potentially her most dangerous move is uh, Confusion. Where he's going to use that, she's going to use that charm attack. And uh, Barry level 3, as long as it hits all 3 levels, is going to grant us the immunity against Confusion. So that's what I'm hoping for. First thing I'm going to, uh, I'm going to hope that uh, Renova can at least survive uh, two turns because uh, Squall's going to be busy trying to use barrier on at least him. Oh shit, ambushed. Okay, about 400 damage. I think she can take it, but of course she's asleep now. And when she's asleep, she has zero evasion, so she's going to be taking even more damage now. All right, uh, Zell, start with the DPS. Oh god. And she confuses Zell. Okay, not a big deal, not a big deal. Uh, people in the ba in this game, confusion, confused enemies are just going to try to physically attack uh, our allies. So I'm not too worried about that, especially uh, if, if he's in the back row. I'm just worried about uh, whether he's going to lose Whether he's, uh, because, because he's going to be physically attacking, whether he's going to lose uh, intelligence because of uh, physically attacking. Alright, so that's not... Bar we've got barrier on Zell now. She confused Renova as well, not a big deal. This is one of the advantages of the No Magic Challenge run is that Confusion is pretty much, I mean, almost ineffective. Of course, it renders my party members pretty useless. Alright, so I think we've got a couple turns at least to set things straight. Uh, let's see if uh, Blink doesn't work. Now, potentially, when the Lamia Queen uses Blink 16, it's... Uh, equivalent to game over, especially if you are just concentrating on physical attacks, but we are not. Uh, magic is guaranteed to hit, so that's another thing that uh, plays into our favor in a magic only challenge. Now I'm just waiting for Renoa and Zell to snap out of confusion. I think we've got barrier on everyone. The problem is that there's an 80% chance that uh, they will remain confused. Let's see if change works. If change works, uh, I'm gonna. I'm. I'll have to do much less work. And a couple saves on Renova did a great job, I think. Is she immune to change, perhaps? Renova's asleep. That's fine. I'm just waiting for Zell to wake up. And meanwhile, I'm just uh, practicing some of Squall's uh, spells. So barrier done, heal done, 
change done let's go all out with holy now so because of those couple saves uh, I'm not too worried about uh, how much damage Reno is going to be taking otherwise my main strategy was going to be uh, spam the life spell with squall I actually got pretty lucky that I got to use a uh, use save twice couldn't have asked for better Come on, Zell, at this rate. Might as well have Reno also start attacking. She's, she's in no danger of dying right now, I don't think so. Not for not for a while. The well, Lemme Queen has about 1600 HP. So we should be done with this in no time. Uh, I tried the change spell, it did not work. And I'm not gonna uh, keep trying it over and over again. Once we get to change 4, I mean, the probability that it's gonna work even on bosses is going to be exponentially higher. Right now, it's just change 3, so I'll just uh, try it every now and then. If it works, if it works. Looks like uh, Squall is pretty much going to single handedly win us this fight. There we go, so that's the benefit of barrier. Never trust a female, ain't that the truth? Okay, so Layla leaves, Gordon joins... Uh... Gordon joins at 0 HP, but he's still alive. I don't know how that works, but uh, soon he will not be alive, which is a select button. There we go, let's just put him in the front row so that he dies as soon as possible. Yeah, that fight went much better than uh, I could have hoped, uh, first try, although I must admit I did have a pretty solid strategy for that. But I'm usually pretty pes pessimistic, especially in uh, incredibly difficult fights like that. Uh, even though I got ambushed, managed to come out of that uh, unscathed. And Renoa's in enormous HP pool really helps at this stage. She's going to be a great tank in the front row. Thankfully, nobody nobody uh, dropped their intelligence. Damn it! I need Gordon dead. Here's what I'm going to do. Yeah, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have everyone uh, in the back row so that uh, the trash enemies on the world map will attack Gordon. But first things first, now that I've achieved the impossible, very difficult job of killing the Labia Queen, let me put down a save. Uh, next step is to have Gordon die. Actually, we can just kill him ourselves. Why not? Gordon, don't you dare run away. There we go. And now we'll just run away. Should be able to. In fact, I hope all the Hornets run away. I guess not. God damn it, none of them. These Hornets are pretty brave. I don't know of that. Cool. She's, uh, she has a mango. What's her evade? About 36? Still at 36? 6-36, okay, okay, fair enough. Now that enemies are going to get uh, really strong, 6-36 is, the effect of that is going to be pretty minimal. Uh, do I need to heal HP? No, I just healed up. Alright. I'm still not satisfied with the uh, HP of my back row characters, but uh, that I think for now is going to be fine. We are well over halfway through the game. But enemies are still not going to do too much damage in the back row, to the back row. It's not until we get to end game where enemies are going to start doing uh, over 100 damage per per character, and that's when the back row is really going to uh, be stressed for HP. So our next destination is going to be the Coliseum. I'm not worried about the actual boss fight because the Behemoth. All he can do is just physically attack. Oh god, look at this. 
Uh, I think this is just a rank 2 fight, I'm just gonna escape. Yeah. We're gonna get uh, much more lucrative encounters, so... I, I, I don't care about these uh, small fry. If it was Sea Dragon, the Sea Dragon by himself is a rank 3 monster. So he would give me plenty of uh, EXP. I think Eagles are rank 3 as well, so I'll take this fight. Barrier level 3, he, he, he will get up to level 5 eventually, I'm not too scared about that. As well as change, so, okay. Let's just focus on fully. I'll take this fight. I believe Eagles are rank 3 uh, enemies. And since we don't have those, uh... Kill our fish, kill our fish. Uh, kill, kill our fish are basically rank two monsters, so they degrade the rank of the battle to level two. I did not mean, ah, uh, did not mean to multi-target, so we're gonna have to waste one more turn. So these guys are not able to hit Reno or no? At 6-36, she effectively... Well, as for the bi uh, bi bi binomial distribution, she has about... Uh, on average, she'll be able to dodge 2 hits. I thought these guys had more than 2 hits. Guess not. These guys... Now, these, these eagles are just not able to hit Renova. So that bodes well. I mean, uh, eagles are mid-game enemies now. We're gonna start from running into pretty high-level enemies. It's not as if she's gonna continue evading, but I expected um, I expected evade levels to grow much faster than they have. I remember, well, I know that by end game we're probably going to have uh, level 16 evade because we're definitely going to need that against uh, Death Riders. Seriously? Oh no, this is unrunnable. And this is actually a pretty bad encounter because they're going to paralyze Maria, uh, Renoa. Uh, let's hope that she can get uh, one safe off at least. Come on, Renoa! Wow, she wasn't paralyzed. 2 hit 70 and paralyzed. Yep, now she's going to be taking massive amounts of damage. So I'm going to spam blink on her uh, in the hopes that uh, she'll be able to dodge. Let's see if the blink spam works. Meanwhile, Zell is going to be doing his uh, damage. Four hits, Jesus Christ! Four hits again. Yeah, so these guys are still getting four hits. Uh, let's hope that blink one works and the number of hits are reduced. I mean, because of a uh, relatively low evade level, uh, Renoa's rel relatively low evade level. I mean evasion level, not evade level. Evade level is uh, 6, so that's pretty good. 4 hits still, nope. Link is not, not doing as well as I expected. But don't, not to worry, I, I have a backup strategy, even if she dies. Alright, 1 down, 2 to go. Man, we can run into a huge group of these assholes. Let's try one more blink. I would prefer not to heal inside battle, just to maximize uh, my HP gains. So I think that should be enough blinks, let's practice other. This is a proper level 5 encounter. Alright, so these guys are unable to hit Renoa now. Or is it rank 4? I forget. Perhaps this is just rank 4. One hit, okay. Alright, she snapped out of paralysis. 
So that helped in uh, getting a little more evade because when you're paralyzed, you essentially are treated as if you have no evade. But because of another bug in the game, well, how do I explain it? Not sure if it's a bug because I believe it uh, it works the same in the remakes as well. But uh, essentially, uh, blink blink still works even when uh, the character is paralyzed. Even though it's supposed to completely ignore evasion, uh, Blink is treated differently. Or rather, if the character already has very high evasion, then that check is bypassed. I think uh, that's how it works. Oh, hang on. Does everyone have an ether? Very important check. Ether. Uh, maybe I sh really should have bought some more. How many do I have in my inventory? Actually, I have plenty. Maybe I should have sold off some of the crap here. I'm pretty confident that I can deal with all of these, pretty much all of these encounters. So, I'm just gonna uh, not bother save saving. Another case where blink would be useful, but I'm not gonna spam blink this time. Instead, I'll just go for save. Probably not gonna work, but these guys are weak to ice, so I'm gonna spam that. Oh! All four antlions missed! Nope, that one hit. And he only got one hit, wow! Of course, encounters like these are doing wonders for Renoir's evade levels. Getting targeted so many times every battle. Oh man, she was paralyzed. Five hundred damage, nice. I think because uh, Renault managed to use safe once, she is uh, not taking as much damage as uh, she would have otherwise. Alright, so these kind of fights went well. I don't think I need to heal her. Like I said, uh, I'm pretty confident that I can make it uh, to the Coliseum without needing to save. Let me try multi-targeted Ice 4. Let's see how many rounds this takes if I multi-target Ice 4. I mean, Ice 4 single target is doing over 500 damage. So, multi target might take uh, less time, although it does mean that each turn Renault would be eating 4, four attacks. She'll be targeted 4 times. I keep forgetting, but I should really use heal as well. Because it's going to be a while until uh, we run into pocket trees. I think before then, there's really no enemy on which uh, I mean, who's going to use a status effect. These guys, I believe, have about 300 HP, so we should be done with them in three turns. Perhaps saved one turn. Not a big deal.
we can run into chimeras and I'm kind of hoping for that because uh, those guys would be good for the back row or uh, HP for the back row if they spam their blaze attack. Are you kidding me? Three turns is not enough? Alright, I guess uh, only if there's more than four chimeras uh, does it make sense to not single target. Yeah, the, the damage, I mean, uh, the power reduction when you multi-target is just way too, way too great. Oh my god, she's gonna die. Alright, so here's here's my strategy now. I think Antlions are gonna die, so I'm not gonna be able to demonstrate it, but uh, next turn, I was just gonna queue up a life spell with Squall to cover up the eventuality that we know I was gonna die. So that would have, uh, that would have conserved the row structure. She's almost at 2000 HP. Nice. That should be fine. I do need to use an uh, ether on uh, Squall. Chimeras? No. Just wild horns. Okay. I think these guys are pretty tame. Not a rank 5 encounter though, so let me let me be judicious about my MP usage. I think Blink is going to be a pretty useful spell, so I'm going to grind it up. Uh, I'm not going to bother using safe, let's just go all out. This guy is weak. The frog is weak to ice, but let's just go use uh, bolt because uh, Zell should be able to take him out with his ice form. G Toad. <coughs> there we go, 500 damage. Yeah, these guys are not doing too much damage. Uh, never mind. Two hits, 130. Actually, 130 at this stage is fine. Is he still not dead? Are you kidding me? Okay, he was just 67 away. Less than 67 away. You know what, instead of using uh, an ether, I, I would rather use a cottage before I enter the Coliseum. That makes uh, a lot more sense. And I think I'm going to start trying to equalize uh, Spell levels for Zell. At least while targeting those enemies who don't have a specific elemental weakness. It's gonna take a bit more time, but uh, well, at least it'll make sure that uh, my spells get some EXP. Otherwise, fire is just going to uh, fire is just gonna race ahead. It's already at level six. And also help build up Renova's Vision. Blink leveled up for oh, nice. So Blink level 2 is going to be twice as effective, surprisingly. Make it! Yes. Let's just use a tent and head in. I mean, cottage. I should probably save this on sort 3, seeing as I'm in the middle of nowhere. 
I do have four slave slave slots after all. All right. So the behemoth fight is going to be pretty trivial as far as I'm concerned. It's the rest of the goddamn dungeon which is a pain in the ass. My worst nightmare is getting ambushed by specters. In fact, even if I'm not ambushed, uh, it's going to—they're going to be a pain in the ass because they're going to get their turns first and spam break. And I don't think any of our characters have. Uh, Ooh, boss music! Right, I completely forgot! This is the first time we get to hear boss music in this game. Uh, didn't mean to use blink on that guy. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with safe anymore. Let's just go all out. The Great Behemoth himself is only getting one hit in so far. Did he use heal or blink? Oh, he used blink, I believe. Alright, so Behemoth is pretty much neutralized. Man, if I had thought, thought of the Mangosh and the fact that Renoa would have uh, over 30% evasion. I definitely would have grinded up Blink instead of Safe. I feel that that's a missed opportunity. Oh well, can't have everything in life, especially since I didn't really plan out this run. should put bold in front. It's a lowest level spell. It's got about 1600 HP as well, just like the Lamia Queen. Might not be a bad idea to use safe once. Don't want to take too much damage since this is going to drag on for quite a bit. If I'm just going to be using port 3 over and over. This guy has no elemental weakness I can exploit. So yeah, Squall is going to be our uh, best damage damage output, surprisingly. That's good. As far as white magic is concerned, there's only uh, one now. Uh, DPS. I mean, there are alternate ways. But outright DPS is just... Uh, Holy and Ultima. And Ultima, I think it would be a uh, good strategy to use Ultima just, just for the sake of MP con conservation. There we go. Did Squall get an MP up? I hope he did. This is the most annoying part. If I die here, I have to do this all over again. I have to do the behemoth fight all over again. You know what? If I have to uh, constantly do the behemoth fight over and over again, if it, I mean, yeah, I'll just, I'll just uh, use my most powerful spells. Uh, trying to waste time. Wham! Whoosh! Boom! <laughs> Thanks, Paul. I saved your ass once and you saved mine once. So now we are even. I'm going to completely ignore the chest to the right which contains a stupid antidote with a monster in a box. I am going to pick up these. Ether, Ether and... Okay, Cottage and Elixir. Yeah, okay. So the cottage that I used, uh, I get a refund here. Uh, 
I'm pretty sure the very first encounter is going to be Spectres. Okay? It's just mocking me. Fire at level 3 should be enough to finish off the Revenant. Because I need fire for uh, these flowers. I'm just going to go all out. I don't want to waste any time. Oh god, fire fire wasn't enough to kill these flowers. Come on, please kill the revenant at least. Oh Jesus. Man, he's gonna take a pound of flesh. Really didn't want this fight to go over one turn. Everybody was weak to fire, but we... Man, these guys are just way too tanky. Spectres? Oh, shite. At least it wasn't an ambush, but uh, that's not a consolation. Can I multi-target this somehow? I do have fire fire. Do I dare take the risk of multi-targeting? These guys only have 300 HP. Let's try this. Oh, I'm taking a very big risk, I feel. Ice 8, yeah that's fine. Break 6 is what is not fine. Hmm. Just... Yeah, I don't mind uh, physical attack. Okay, we got lucky. Uh, we just have to hope that... I'm able to kill all of these guys in uh, one turn. I don't think it's gonna happen. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think uh, we are we are safe then. So Del Zell, Zell was doing about 200 damage with his fire uh, six. And Renault was doing about 100 damage with uh, her fire fire multi-target. Right, Gordon's gonna leave our party here. See, th this is this is the problem I have with uh, this section in the game. If I die, which I'm very likely to, I'm gonna have to uh, repeat that. Repeat all of these, this entire sequence, including the beam at boss fight. But fire is our friend here. Now these flowers can inflict uh, confusion, I believe, or not? Yep, yep, they can inflict confusion. But uh, as I mentioned during the Lamia Queen fight, not too worried about confusion. In fact, if uh, somehow she gains a sword level, I mean, a uh, 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 dagger level, that might even work in my favor. It will give her even more evasion. Still can't believe that the Mangosh is 10% efficient. Come on, make it! Oh wow! Once again, I've gotten extremely lucky. Cannot believe my luck.
Wow, made it out of this damn place on the first try. Yeah, seriously, I cannot believe my luck. So now let's just make our way back to Altair. And uh, next time, we'll start with uh, the attack on Finn. Attack on Titan. Oh my god, there are so many of them. Oh wait, Bolt leveled up, nice. So I'll just attack with ice. At least I don't have to use Bolt 3, I'm fine with that. So since uh, Renoa is going to spend this entire fight paralyzed, I'm going to spam blink on her until uh, these guys can't hit her at all. Meanwhile, Zell is just going to spam ice from the back row. Alright, looks like one blink two was enough, but I'm just going to... Ah, uh, no, it wasn't enough. Is she paralyzed? She's not paralyzed. As long as she's not paralyzed... Um, it's not too bad. Oh my god, even one hit is enough to paralyze her. Magic defense is really low. Yeah, in such large encounters, it's gonna take a while. So we're done with barrier, I'm gonna use blink one, one more time. Just imagine if I would have had a very high blink level at this stage. These things could have been avoided, but... Oh well, lessons for next time, I suppose, if there's a next time. Why did I use fire? Oh well. Now she should be untouchable. Uh, I think I already practiced here. Did I practice that idea? There we go. Untouchable now. I mean, it's not as if safe is an inherently bad spell, it's just that uh, it only, because of the bug, it only affects a user. But the thing, thing about Blink is that not only is it objectively more uh, useful for a challenge run like this, uh, it's not affected by the same bug as the safe spell, so Squall could have as, as we are doing right now, Squall, Squall could have been the one to just constantly spam uh, Blink on Renova while she is helpless in the front row. So she, she is literally going to be our tank. I had to keep a close eye on Squall's HP, our uh, MP rather. He is just... Man. He's using so much MP. Especially because he's also using it outside battle. To cure everybody up. It's understandable. Fights like these are going to take so long because I'm not using instant death spells. Holy crap, Squall's MP is down to 35. 
definitely need, uh, I think I'll just go ahead and use a cottage so that everyone can gain MP. Once for all, gain some more MP. MP up, okay. Both leveled up, alright. So yeah, that that's the main thing. We are slowly leveling up our spells. And hopefully intelligence as well. I'm gonna put eyes in front. Once eyes gets up to level 5, then it's gonna be bold. So I'm not gonna bother too much with arrow since uh, hardly anything is weak to arrow. 30 MP. Yeah. Yeah, let's just go ahead and use a tent. Uh, got it rather. So now Squall's MP is uh, on par with Zell's. Awesome. So yeah, what I was saying is that uh, I'm just gonna head back uh, to Finn. Well, Finn, Finn has been emptied, obviously. Uh, yeah, just give Layla one chance and she rallies everyone up against a rebellion. I've learned my lesson since last time and I'm not going to be multi-targeting. At least, at least until I get Ice Fire, I suppose. So Layla has accumulated all the warriors of Finn. Uh... I mean, uh, Al Altair, Neofin, and uh, next time we are going to be attacking the actual castle of Finn, which has been taken over by the Empires. We are the Rebellions. Her eyes is still at level 3. So let's just switch that with Bolt. My philosophy has been to uh, always use the lowest level spells with Renoa. In fact, since I since uh, that's what I've been doing, she should be the one to just constantly use Cure on herself instead of Squall. He should, he should really conserve some MP. So next time it's gonna be the Gotos fight as well as the under uh, Finn Basement Dungeon. Finn Basement Dungeon also has rates. I'm not too scared about that because we do get to save. There we go. There's a uh, encampment. I'm just gonna save. Seriously. All right. You guys want to get get an ass kicking? All right. There we go. Next time we'll take on, uh, we'll start off with yet another boss fight like we did today, Kotos. And uh, that's gonna be pretty easy, but uh, yeah, take care.